Hey, hey good people, welcome back to the broadcast. It's May 3rd, my name's Reagan, otherwise known as the Doom Wizard, on the internet. And here is, and in my personal life, here is the most recent CO2 levels from Mauna Loa readings. Hit 425 parts on April 28th, I missed this. But here we are. And soon to feel the effects already. Record ocean temperatures. One of the most cowardly things ordinary people can do is shut their eyes to facts. According to this quote, C.S. Lewis, I could not agree more. I've met many cowards in my life. And just for a refresh, this is 22, 2022 average temperature spiking in Europe. Taken from the Copernicus climate. Service, European Union State of the Climate, Program of European Union. As if they got enough going on over there with war and crop failure. It's all connected. Did you know that Boris and the bunch wanted the war to go on? They were not opposed to it because it would mean him and allies would secure defense contracts in Ukraine and make meat sauce. It's about money. In order to keep this program going... I do rely on your support and contributions. There's a link below, one time or monthly. I did just report that 70% of millennials are living paycheck to paycheck and 40% of boomers report the same. This is according to a survey I read from Insider. And I know a quarter of my subscribers are also females, girls. Kind of cool. Welcome to the channel. I'm a doomer or a realist, you could say. And I know we're not going to make the steps. We're not going to do what's necessary, even if so, even if so, you can't stop the billionaires and millionaires from using their super yachts and private jets and vacation rental homes. They only comprise about 0.0008% of the population. Actually, I think add another zero there. We'll get to that in a moment, but... Exclusive YouGov survey finds in seven countries tested backing for government and individual action on crisis. It doesn't matter what we, the little peoples, do, the little ants, okay? It doesn't matter. You know, banning single-use plastics, scrapping fossil fuel cars, you know, they were happy with the measures that would not greatly affect the way they lead their lives. But bigger steps that may be necessary were unpopular, okay? It doesn't matter what we do. It's incom The billionaire's lifestyle is incompatible with ours. I mean, we're head deep in this shit, okay? Big oil even makes more money. Profits reach record high levels in 2022. You can see here some of the biggest players of Earth energy. $200 billion. And you wonder why we can't have um, all this energy. We, we can't have higher education taken care of or health care. And you're telling me this is okay, you're saying the system is okay, $200 billion? You are a terribly misguided individual. Okay, scientists are alarmed at sea surface temperatures hit uncharted territory. I'm covering this one more time. Because it's, it's remarkable how much difference we're jumping up in a matter of short span of time. Because it's exponential. Meanwhile, Google still profits from climate lies on YouTube. They still ran ads on content that rejects mainstream climate science. Basically, every single way you think this could go wrong, which is why I'm a realist, we're not getting out of this predicament, we're doing that, okay? Even after Google said it wouldn't allow that. Because it's profitable. Because Clown Planet channel should be banned. And big tech needs to remove that. But they don't care. They need to keep selling iPhones, okay? and Android devices. While private flights have boomed since the pandemic, are taxpayers picking up the tab? Short answer, yes. I'm going to repeat this again and again because it's sickening. It's sickening the amount of protests and, uh, so, uh, I guess you could say, demonstrations I've participated in and not fully grasping the picture that a private jet owner is worth $190 million average person flying on a private plane emits 10 to 20 times as much part carbon pollution as a commercial airline passenger, okay? In 2020, only about this much percent of the world's population, which is like nobody, a few people, yet we contribute. There's a tax, okay? 
that we pay, the, the ordinary taxes make up 70% of the agency's funding. So we're making record profits for oil companies, these big names, okay? And we're subsidizing private jets. Like if, and knowing what's coming, the fact that young people aren't just protesting the street just shows how de delusional and completely hopeless, I mean, the situation is, okay? that So acceptance is your best notion because El Nino uh, expected by fall. This is blocked by New York Times. I thought it was open. Um, and, I mean, this is kind of like where I am at and my subscribers. The godfather of AI. Of course, I didn't do any climate research. I've just re been reporting this. Let's be clear. I'm not taking credit for all this research and insight. But the godfather of AI just quit Google and says he regrets his life work because it can be hard to stop bad actors for using it for bad things. That's how I feel about the whole climate movement, protest, everything. It's like action, all that is like it's in the bad it's in bad actors. I mean, we need to there's no reason billionaires should be flying around the planet and, and cruising in super yachts at this point. At this point in the knowledge that we have, you know what's happening. But it is. It is. Impacts on plant pathogens, food security, food security and the path forwards from nature reviews, microbiology, plant disease outbreaks pose significant risks to global food security and environmental sustainability worldwide and the result of loss of primary productivity and biodiversity that negatively impact environmental and socioeconomic conditions of affected regions. Okay, you knew this. Diseases and loss of habitat for humans. From the Arab News, never been here, never been here. Warmer oceans point to growing scale of climate change problem. You think? Humankind's greatest ally in slowing is the oceans, but if they continue to warm up, we're, we're toast. We're, it's already built in. Okay, we just covered this. 425 parts. Look, look in the Earth's geological history what the planet was like last time we were at 425 parts. Okay? I don't know. It's just sickening. Sickening. I didn't go through climate and economy, but I feel like it's important. Just a quick brush up here from climate and economy from today's economic roundup. Maybe I can go through climate, but let's just say half of America's banks are potentially insolvent. Three banks have collapsed in the last few weeks, had more in assets than all of the banks that collapsed in 2008, even after adjusting for inflation. But, you know, the old man says the U.S. banking system is safe. Okay, nothing is safe. Nothing is safe at this point. That's my point. Right? I'm not trying to instill fear. This is just reality. No quick and easy end to this crisis. Great stagflation ahead. U.S. manufacturing marks six-month contraction. All right, I don't, I don't want to go through all this stuff around the world. My head would explode. At least Nova's got our back with four major effects of climate change in America, warming temperatures. Yeah, are we? What are we doing? Of course, there's heat waves. We feel those wildfires, right? Drought and water scarcity, hurricanes. When do the water, when do the water wars start? That's the question. Okay, so I'm glad you're tuned in. We're watching this thing unfold in real time. I was gonna do a complete video with my, again, my um, I've already been through it before, but I got a bunch of new subscribers. My whole feelings journey to acceptance and just some of the fun stories I have around protesting and activism I was a I was a wild man I had the courage to speak the truth and I still do please consider donating to this channel as I do rapid fire news up news roundups personal stories and just otherwise documenting reality because I'm not a coward I'll talk to you later see ya